Okay, ladies and gentlemen, these are going to be the 1.1 Part 1 videos, John Salek's class, Math 1105, Tallahassee Community College. The first problem says, gives us the equation 5x plus 2y squared equals 70, and it wants to know if the ordered pair 4, negative 5 is a solution of the equation. Well, the problem is a pretty no-brainer in, in terms of how to approach it. If you want to know if an ordered pair makes an equation true, it's simply a matter of plugging in. Okay, so let me come over here to the side. 5x plus 2y squared equals 70 is my original equation. Now the ordered pair I'm supposed to be testing is the ordered pair 4, negative 5. Well, obviously 4 is in the x position and negative 5 is in the y position. So when I come over here, I plug them in accordingly. So we have 5 times 4, put the 4 in safety nets, plus 2 times, what's y? Negative 5 in safety nets being squared is supposed to equal 70. We don't know if it does. That's what the question mark means, but we're going to find out. Okay, over here, let's see, negative, let's do the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally garbage, right? Negative 5 squared is 25, 25 times 2 is 50, 5 times 4 is 20, 70 equals 70, so yes, and this ordered pair is a solution of that equation. All right, when you plug it in, if it works, it means it's a solution. Okay, one more. I have the equation 9x minus 8y equals 5. And I'm testing the ordered pair. Let's see, what does it say? 2 thirds, 1 fourth. All right, so we're going to plug a 2 thirds in for x and a 1 fourth in for y. So we have 9 times 2 thirds in parens, minus 8 times 1 fourth is supposed to equal 5. Okay, you know how to multiply fractions. 9 is really 9 over 1. 9 over 1 times 2 thirds. I hope you were taught to multiply fractions using the Gazinda rule, you know. 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. I'm really kidding. There's not really such a rule, but that sounds a lot more fun. you got to make fractions fun, I hope. Okay, when you're multiplying fractions, you goes into here too. 4 goes into 8 twice. 2 times 1 is 2. This is a negative 2. 6 minus 2 equals 5. No, it does not. Therefore, the ordered pair 2 thirds, 1 fourth is not a solution of this equation. So here's, here's what I want to say about equations with two variables. When an equation has two variables in it, a solution is not a single number a solution would have to be an ordered pair, okay? And the way you decide if an ordered pair works or not is by plugging it in and seeing if it makes the left-hand side equal the right-hand side. One last comment here. These equations, obviously, we're just looking at like one ordered pair at a time. But remember, when an equation has two variables in it, there are usually, in fact, there are going to be infinitely many solutions that make that equation true. So that's why when you're actually looking for all the solutions, you're going to have to draw a graph. And that's where your graphing calculator is going to come in very handy.